Why do pumpkins rot after Halloween? Carved a pumpkin? Get ready, it's about to rot. Fast! When you carve a pumpkin, you expose its soft, moist interior to oxygen, bacteria, mold spores, and fungi floating in the air. These microorganisms love sugar-rich environments, like pumpkin flesh, that spooky smile. It's a feast for bacteria, mold, and fungi. They love sugar, and pumpkins are loaded with it. Microbes digest the flesh and break it down, literally. Enzymes break the pumpkin cells apart. Boom! Slime, stink, and collapse. Can you slow the rot? Try sealing, chilling, or drying a carved pumpkin and see what lasts longer. Do warm temperatures speed up microbial growth? Why do ghost costumes float when you run? When you run while wearing a loose ghost costume, like a bedsheet, you're not just moving your body, you're also displacing the air around you. This displacement creates air resistance, also known as drag. As you move forward, air pushes against the front of your body. Some of that air flows under and around the sheet, creating lift. The fabric, being lightweight and loose, is easily lifted and pushed back by the air. This is the same principle that helps flags wave or parachutes inflate. The air interacts with flexible materials and changes their shape or motion. All right, let's put the physics of your ghost costume to the test with a quick experiment. For this, you will need two identical sheets of paper, same mass or weight. Leave one sheet completely flat. This represents the massive billowy surface area of your ghost sheet. Crumple the second sheet tightly into a small, dense ball. This represents your body, a streamlined object cutting through the air. If your ghost costume floats because of the massive surface area catching the air, which of these two objects do you predict will hit the ground first? Hold both the flat sheet and the crumpled ball at the exact same height. Ready? Three, two, one, drop! Yes, the crumpled ball fall much, much faster. Why? Because the flat paper has a huge surface area facing the air. As it drops, it has to push aside a lot of air molecules. This creates a large upward force called drag that works against the downward pull of gravity. The crumpled ball, however, is aerodynamic. Its small surface area means it barely feels the drag, allowing the force of gravity to pull it straight down. Your loose ghost costume is exactly like that flat sheet. Why does dry ice look like it's smoking? Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Unlike regular ice, which is frozen water, dry ice doesn't melt. It sublimates, meaning it goes straight from a solid to a gas. Why the smoke? When you drop dry ice in water, the warm water rapidly heats the dry ice, causing it to sublimate faster. Carbon dioxide gas forms, but it's invisible to the naked eye. However, this gas is very cold and causes water vapor in the air to condense. What you see as smoke is actually a cold cloud of condensed water vapor, not the gas itself. This process is similar to how fog or clouds form. Hungry for more? Check out our other videos on this channel.